There is still sufficient room for China's monetary policy in the next stage, and we will continue to strike a balance between short-term and long-term, between stable growth and risk prevention, between internal and external equilibrium, and we will strengthen counter-cyclical and cross-cyclical adjustments to create a good monetary and financial environment for the economy. Starting from fifth, uh, February the 5th, we will lower the RRR by 0 0.5 percentage points so as to inject 1 trillion RMB liquidity into the market. Starting from tomorrow, we will reduce the reloans and rediscounts level by 0 0.25 percentage points. We will also work to reduce steadily the overall financing cost across the society. So I wish to mainly touch upon the following four areas on what we will do more specifically. First, in terms of the aggregate, we will ensure a reasonable growth. We will continue to use liquidity injection tools such as deposit reserve ratio, reloans and rediscounts, median term lending facilities, and open market operations to provide strong support for the reasonable growth of financing and credit across the society. China's current average statutory reserve ratio is 7.4 percent. Compared with the levels of central banks in other major economies, this is relatively a high percentage point. So for China's PBOC, there's still ample space 